Member for Parksville, Qualicum. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. I want to take a moment to talk about the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, how it connects to forestry in our province, and some of the incredible work being done mid-island. British Columbia was the first province to introduce legislation to incorporate UNDRIP, and it forms the foundation of our work towards reconciliation. Reconciliation requires a continuous and ongoing commitment to engaging as partners in ways that respect the unique rights, interests, and circumstances of Indigenous peoples to determine their own future. Last week, I had the opportunity to meet Eli Enns. Eli spoke of his ancestors and how, by working with nature, they were able to nurture and enhance the abundance of the land. He also introduced me to the Isak Olam Foundation. Isak Olam strives to create ethical space by bringing together two worldviews, Indigenous and Western knowledge systems. They are building capacity for First Nations to design programs that contribute to the preservation of biological and cultural diversity, develop sustainable and resilient communities, foster space for reconciliation, and reconnect people to the environment. Isak Olam has partnered with the Vancouver Island University to jointly develop an Indigenous-led conservation program, the first of its kind in Canada. When we discuss the future of old growth forests here in our province, it is vital that we support First Nations communities and allow them to lead these discussions. Incorporating traditional knowledge into our resource-based decision-making and forming innovative agreements allows the integration of ecological and cultural systems where economic opportunities and the intrinsic value of our environment are balanced. I ask the House to join with me in celebrating Indigenous leadership, the Isak Olam Foundation, Vancouver Island University, and the path of continued reconciliation.